Today we're going to be doing my review of the GSG Firefly 22 long rifle and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. Once again, I would like to thank my viewer Matt for sending us another gun. Matt has sent us a Springfield Hellcat, a Glock Gen 5 19, he's also sent out the kel P17, and now the GSG Firefly. Thank you Matt for your support of the channel, I'm glad you're helping me out with these videos. So what we're going to do today is, is we're going to take this over to the table, I'm going to tell you some of the features about it, and then we're going to take it outside and shoot it, and I'll give you my impressions of it, so let's get started. Before we get started, let's go ahead and safety check this here right here. We can see there's nothing in the chamber. No magazine in it at all, so this gun's safe to handle. It features a wear-resistant alloy frame outfitted with an integrated accessory rail. This one features a three-dot sight system on it, and the rear one is adjustable. It is double action and single action, and it also comes with a decocker. Both the frame and the slide material are made of a zinc alloy. This has a fixed barrel, and it comes in at four inches, and it's made of steel. And this is what it looks like when it's completely field stripped. The total length on this is 7.2 inches. The total height on it is 5.3 inches. It weighs in at 24.6 ounces and it comes with 110 round magazine. Now I want to check the trigger pull on this so what we're going to do is safety first. No magazine in the gun. Only magazine I have for this has a dummy round in it. Check the chamber here real quick. There is nothing in the chamber so we're good on that. Put the magazine in here. Chamber that round. Double check to make sure it's in there. This is a rim fire, so I don't want to damage this firing pin. Decock it, and we're going to put that safety up on there. Now this thing's ready to fire. So we can see we got my wheeler gauge here, and I can tell you right now we're going to do double action, and I'm pretty sure that's going to max this out here. So let's see here. Yeah, it's maxed out before it even starts pulling that hammer back. And you can see right there, it totally maxed it out, and this goes up to nine pounds eight pounds right there so we max that out on the double action just so you guys can see there double action does work on it now let's check the single action here pull that back i keep forgetting i got a cut on that thumb so it kind of hurts to pull that hammer back and work the controls we'll get this right here and we'll do a couple pulls on this see where it's at man that's even heavy off the charts Let's try that again. Put it back in single action mode. Zero this out here. Let's try that again. And man, maxed it out again on the single action. That is a horrible trigger. I'm sorry, GSG, I'm gonna have to dock you on that. That trigger pull on there. Double and single action sucks on it. But let's go ahead and take it outside and fire it and see how it is firing it. Now we're outside, we only got one magazine. So after every time I shoot one, of course, I'm gonna have to load it back up. One thing I do wanna note, the nubs on the magazine does make it easy to load these. A lot of people like to know that about 22s because if they don't have this nub, sometimes it's hard. This one was pretty easy on it. So let's take our first shots here, take it off the safe. I'm gonna decock it and we're going to do that long heavy double action here we're going to do the silhouette on the target stand like i normally do very heavy very very heavy hit dead center though where i wanted dead center again do it one more time here decock it all right that works now what I want to do, since this has a safety here, I want to decock it and turn the safety on. My uh, friend over at Trigger Bar Philosopher just did a video on a Beretta 80X, the new Beretta, and uh, there was an issue with the safety here. And now what I want to do is anytime I got a gun with a safety on it, I want to check it too, because he found out that Beretta wasn't safe. So let's try that out. We got the safety on. Nothing. Let's take that safety off. Safety works on this one. Glad to see that. Let's do the rest in single action. 
All right, it shot all those just fine. Now, first magazine. First thing I want to say is, is that was Federal Auto Match. This says high velocity rounds in the manual. But what I always like doing is, is I like using bolt box because that's pretty much what everybody's going to buy because they would buy these to go plinking and they want to be cheap about it. So it ran the Federal Auto Match just fine. First thoughts of the first magazine. I like the three dot sights. Most people know I like the blacked out rear, but these are pretty good. I want to say these are luminescent. I couldn't find anything on it. Leave a comment down below if you got one of these. Are these luminescent or not? The trigger, the actual trigger shoe feel, it's kind of wide for me, but not too bad on it. The grips, non-existent texture, but it does feel good in the hand. Let's go ahead and load up another magazine and keep going. All right, we got the second magazine here. This is going to be Federal Auto Match 2. Now I'm just going to transition around. We're going to go with the small silhouette. Had an issue there. And that time it did not feed around. Double check that. All right. Try this again. Man, even that single action is heavy on it. This is going to take some getting used to. Last 22s I shot was the uh, Keltec P17, which has an awesome trigger. And then, of course, I got my Taurus TX22 with a tandem cross trigger. Both of those got great triggers. This one's actually horrible from the factory. All right, let's try the small plate here. All right, got it on the last one. Let's try some different ammo out. All right, if I didn't mention it before, I'm out here and I'm at about 10 yards. This magazine, we're gonna do CCI standard velocity because that's another one that's relatively cheap for people to buy. So I wanted to try that out in this also. This kind of gun, just because of the way it is, it's not a well-known gun. I wanted to try different ammos out in that. This, that's why I'm doing that with this review. So let's go for the small plate again, CCI standard velocities. Got a stove pipe, just so you guys can see that right there. Try it again here. Failure to feed. That's kind of why I wanted to do this test with this gun, just to see how this was going to go. I knew I just had a feeling with it. I want to try different ammo out. All right, it looks like standard velocities aren't going to work. That one, we had a failure to feed again. It's just not going back all the way and pulling the round up into it. Uh, let's try the bowling pin. All right, we had it going there. This time we had another failure to feed. That time it tried to go up into the ramp, but it didn't. Uh, let's try the coyote head. All right, we gave him an eye. Let's see if we can give him another eye. Oh, man. Caught me flinching on that one. That one, they didn't even go back and pick another round up. All right, and that was the last round there. I do have some other CCIs. Let's try those. Now, this magazine, we got CCI mini mags. These are the target rounds. These ones are 1235 feet per second where the standard velocity is like a thousand something, real low 1,000 something feet per second. So we're gonna see how these work in here. This is all the ammo I brought out, by the way. I figured those three would be a good test on it. Let's go back to that coyote head. Okay, these got enough power. I think these are gonna be all right. Let's go back to the small plate again. Okay, now I found my aim. You can see I'm hitting that right dead center. Let's try the gopher. Ooh, last round. Peg the gopher. Let's try some more magazines with that in it. I think I'm going to like it with that one in it. All right, this one has only got nine in it. We're still shooting the uh, target rounds here that are the mini mags. What I want to do is I want to go back at that small plate. And what I'm going to do is work the reset of the trigger and see what I think about that. Very long reset.
very, very long reset on that. Definitely way different than what I'm used to. Let's go back to that gopher. All right, nailed him a couple of times. Let's do one more magazine so I can get my final ideas of what I think about this gun. All right, this magazine, I'm just going to transition between the silhouette targets and double tap them. So let's go ahead and finish this out here. All right, not too bad. Let's go ahead and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so what's my final thoughts on the GSG Firefly here? Everybody knows I'm truthful when I do reviews, and we're going to start off with the negatives on this. We're going to start with the trigger. Double action trigger on this, heavy, and it sucks. Single action trigger on this is heavy, and it sucks. Um, grip texture, it sucks. There's none there, even though there's a front strap, back strap, and stuff. It's smooth. It's a 22. It's not going to jump out of your hand, but it really don't have a lot of texture on it. Um, trigger shoe, this is personal preference, so it's a negative for me. I think it's too wide. I don't like how wide it is. Any other negatives I can think of about it? Not that I can think of offhand. So, oh, one other negative is going to be, I might as well say this in the negatives. The price of this, you only get one magazine. And in today's market, there's way better guns out there. Like the kel P17, the Taurus TX-22. I've never tried the new SIG. Uh, I think it's the P322. But that seems to be a decent one. There's a lot of guns out there that are kind of in this price range. That are a lot better option than this. Now let's go to the positives. I'm going to start on the top here. The sights are nice. I don't like three dot sights. I like the blacked out in the rear. But these are nice. I had no problem picking them up. And they're adjustable. Um, the slide. This is kind of designed after the sig mosquito actually these guys built the sig mosquito for sig and then uh they built it to their specs and now they built it to their own specs so this is kind of a clone of a p226 from sig but kind of a high bore axis compared to what i'm used to because of that that's where i was going with the sig thing because they got kind of a high bore axis on their guns um trigger you can get a hold of that real well on there decocker works good I like the ambi safeties being left-handed, but the slide release is not ambi. Um, I didn't see if the mag release is or not. If you have one of these notes, leave a comment down below on that. Another thing I really like is they give you an accessory rail. If you're using this for a training gun and you use a lighter laser, you can put it on here and train with it. If you got a SIG P226 or something like that, that would be real nice on there. Um, what else do I like about it? It actually feels good in the hand, believe it or not. It does feel good in the hand, just needs more texture on it. But that's everything I can think of on it. Take down, very easy on it, because it's got a fixed barrel in it. You just flip that down, pull it back, lift it up, just like you do on any other blowback gun. Um, all in all, would I recommend this gun? Like I said, with other options out there in this price range and what this offers with the trigger suck in one magazine? No, I don't recommend it. If you pick one of these up dirt cheap, would it be a fun plinker out on the range? Yeah, it would be. So that's my final thoughts on this. That I really can't recommend it. I can't say, yes, this is great. Go out and buy one with this gun. Just can't do it. Now, before we end this out, I really want to thank Matt again. Matt, you're awesome. You've helped me out with quite a few guns on the channel now to do videos with. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there, I'll have links to Axel Hearing Protection, Gator's Eyewear, and a couple other affiliated accounts that do help out the channel. Some of them aren't affiliated accounts, but some of them do have discount codes to save you guys money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.